you know, first impressions seem to last forever. And you know, so many times uh, you find that, you know what, your reputation precedes you. Before you even met someone, someone else has given them the uh, opportunity to have an opinion about you. And they, it's very hard for somebody to overcome a bad opinion or a bad first impression. Hi, I'm Pete and this is Shauna and we are both ordained ministers in the Church of God. We believe the best way to disciple your family is reading and studying the Word of God together. And we take to social media and ask you to share it with us. Today we're on uh, 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 through 10. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his own word is not in us. You know, uh, God knows us before we're even formed in our mother's womb. And then there are this, there is this life that we all live, these roads that we all go down. Um, and the choices that we make uh, form who we um, appear to be. But God always knows truly who we are. And um, I am so glad that uh, the things that I do, my reputation and, and the character that I created on my own in my sin didn't affect how God loves me and what he did for me. Um, I'm so thankful that he is faithful and just to, to forgive me. Right, we've all made a bad first impression with God, mm -hmm. right? Because the Bible says we've all sinned, come toward the glory of God. Uh, it says that we are born into sin. That nature is within us. It's passed on to us from our parents. And we come, and the Bible says that none are righteous, no, not one. We don't seek after him, right? We all give this bad first impression to God. But you know what? He still wants us. Mm -hmm. He still desires us. He still sent his son Jesus to die for us, to reconcile what we destroyed so that we can have that relationship once again. That's right. It, I'm so grateful and thankful that God loves us the way that he does. And, um, you know, the book of uh, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, there's so much love in that. Love. And um, it is because God is love. It's because he is a loving God. It's because he's a merciful God. He's a gracious God, but he's also a just God. And um, he doesn't want us separated from him. You know, if you have children, uh, you don't want your kids separated from you. It's hard for parents who are um, facing their kids going off to college or their kids moving away for a career. They don't want to be separated from their children and God don't want to be separated from us. Uh, so what happened? Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice and, and the Lord has cast our sins as far as the east is from the west if you are a child of God or a follower of Jesus Christ. Right, you know, it says in verse 8 and in verse 10 it wants everyone to know that we're all sinners. Right To say that you've not sinned, it means that God's not in you. You're a liar. And we have to realize that the thing about it is, is that there's nothing we can do to get back to God. Right. The destruction that we cause with our sin, beginning in the Garden of Eden until now, uh, can only be reconciled by God. And that is through Jesus Christ. You know, mm -hmm. And John referred to him earlier in this as the light of the world, right? Or the, the word. And all these different things he referred to him as. But really, he is our only hope. You know, that's it. It's, it's through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone that we have an opportunity to spend eternity together with God. That's right. And um, you have the opportunity every day, if you do not know him, to come to know him, uh, to uh, confess him as the Lord, your Lord and Savior, and to uh, repent of your sins. It is truly that easy. It is what is uh, uh, confounding the wise because it's so so simple. It's just about faith and believing. Um, <clears throat> we want to encourage you that every day that you live intentional for Jesus Christ, that you get up every day, you exalt God, you encounter God, you edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and you engage this world for Jesus Christ. Um, like Pete mentioned, we are the light of the world. You know, we are um, <clears throat> the ambassadors of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure that people know that they can be washed of their sin and have the best impression uh, ever uh, by being covered by the blood. Right, they see Christ through us. That's right. Until next time, God bless you. God bless you.